So at long last, after weeks of, or months really, of work, I made my own 3D game. It's like a 3D engine. Now, whereas a lot of people might cheat and use graphics APIs like OpenGL, I feel that I, I learn a lot more doing it this way. And I actually feel that, that this is better because, um, because, um, what is it? Why is it not responding? Um, I'm just sorry, I think it's cheating. So, um, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials on how to make a high performance thing like this. And yeah, I mean, I, I think I prefer this retro style, don't you think? Why is it? Anyway. So hello, this is my, my expose on OpenGL. Theorem is not very good. Here's what I did. I copy pasted some code that I found online and I modified it to try to improve it because, um, cause you know, I know how everything works. So I figured I could improve it. And turns out OpenGL is just so, such a diva that you can't even, it doesn't even work. I mean, I, I don't really understand what this code is doing, but obviously this doesn't look right. So a uh, big epic fail there, OpenGL. Okay, so I realized that there's a bit of a gulf between where I am at the moment and where I want to be. And I looked up OpenGL tutorials, and I think this is all I need to do. I just need to, I mean, how long is this? This is almost two hours. This is 31 videos. This is another 31 videos. I'm going to learn so much stuff. Look, this isn't a beginner course. This is an advanced course, but it's also a crash course. Hmm. So I think I'm just going to set a schedule and I'm just going to do 15 minutes a day. And I hope they don't type too fast because I have to keep up. But at some point I'm going to become skilled. I'm going to go from a beginner to a competent uh, developer. Just a little insert here. This was meant to be like a funny and light video. So I'm not going to do a skit on the depression stage. It's not, that's not funny, but I teach OpenGL professionally at university and it's common for me to see people step back for a little bit and take a break. They'll get into a tutorial of some sort and th their brain will be, will be crammed with information. It's do this, do this, do this, textures, vertex buffers, all of this, shaders, and they get all filled up and then they need to take a step back and process it and recalibrate because when you're in a tutorial situation, the pacing is quite fast and it's actually, it's fine. It's a fine pace for getting acquainted with information, but for really owning the information and making your own stuff, you need to change gears. And that's what I'm going to, that's what I'm going to call this stage. I've done this as well. I watched a lot of anime in between learning stuff and making my own stuff. But yeah, that's this stage. All right, guys. So after, after weeks of learning, I threw all that stuff away and started from scratch, took my time. And here we go. Nothing fancy, but I now understand every step that went into making it and I can make it in a different way. I can make it with different methods is the triangle. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I did a good job. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a, that was just a lighthearted little skit of the, the basic. A lot of the common things that I see cropping up with students learning OpenGL. Oh, who's this guy? Who's this weird person in a robe? Well, tell you what, welcome to my dojo. This guy's got a bed. He's not very professional. Anyway, for the longest time, I was in the denial stage longer than I want to admit. 
I won't go fully into it, it's a bit of a weird story, but I finally reached the point where I figured I have to I have to get serious about game development stuff and not just be relying on crutches. And no shade to any of the tutorial channels that I showed here. Um, it's all really good. It's really good stuff. But I think the key word here is crutches and it's important to just be aware as a student of when you're relying too much on one person's interpretation. Because, you know, some of it is important information but it's, physic it's literally impossible to include every single bit of information in a tutorial. Some of it you have to improvise and find your own style, so, so just be aware of that. And on the flip side of that, although this is lighthearted, if you felt particularly called out by any of this, then in a positive way I'd like to sort of challenge you a little bit. Do you really understand what you're doing? I mean that in a good way, like it's it's the best feeling in the world when you really make something and it's not fancy, but you completely understand it. But anyway, if you would like to learn OpenGL, check out my channel, get into game dev. If you look at the playlist section, I have a bunch of different playlists, OpenGL, Vulkan, Metal, WebGPU, all sorts of things. Um, also, I'm currently developing my next game, Cube Dudes 2, Sphere itself, that's almost done. I've got all the maps planned out, I've got the functionality, I just need to knuckle down and make those maps, but that's fine, I've got a lot of podcasts that I can draw on, um, but yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching, have a great time, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!